Why do Mini Coopers have an enormous speedometer? In the world of car design, there's this clever little thing called retro-futurism. I mean, who doesn't love a good throwback with a modern twist? Mini Coopers are a textbook example of this trend. It goes back to their origins. The original Mini, popping onto the scene in the late 1950s and through the 1960s, had a giant speedo smack dab in the middle of the dashboard. It was both a quirky design choice and a necessity. The Mini was a marvel of space efficiency, and packing instruments into the center console made it, well, miniaturized in more ways than one. Plus, it was cheaper to produce a one-size-fits-all dashboard for left-hand and right-hand drive markets. Fast forward to the 21st century. BMW resurrects the brand and decides, hey, people dig nostalgia. They kept the large central speedometer as a nod to the original minis of yesteryear, but they put a modern spin on it with infotainment and other high-tech car gadgetry. In the mini, this enormous speedometer became more than just a functional piece of equipment. It's a statement, a design icon, a centerpiece that harkens back to its heritage. It adds to the Mini's charm, that whimsical character that draws in folks looking for something beyond the typical cookie-cutter cars. Nowadays, the speedometer isn't the only thing informing you of how recklessly, ahem, I mean, robustly you're piloting your Mini Cooper. There's plenty of digital displays to relay that information. But the massive Speedo? It's all about fashion meeting function, topped with a generous helping of tradition. Driving around here in Portland, Oregon, you'll see quite a few of these stylish rides zipping through the streets, and that giant speedometer almost winks at you as they pass by. It's just one of those endearing quirks that car aficionados and casual drivers can both get a kick out of.